As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid! I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity! Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here, it's the thief. Theft or no theft, Krach gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Krach turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here, then. 
He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Ready? Use the mask. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. Bet Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. The place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here with this happened had a slim chance of survival. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. on the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ready? Use the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. 
Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what Quach has to say about this! Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her. Then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. He went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Sword Nix. Ciri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. Why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new.
Come on. Nice and slow now. Whoa, Devil Spawn. Show me what you got. Humming. Place of power. It's gotta be.
and end this. Giddy up. Ha!
bastard. Give me it all. Full speed ahead.
Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Young, they barely sprouted whiskers. Get in the grind they lie. And me, livid and unharmed. Perhaps oh. twere written in the stars. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yen. Leave her alone. You don't understand. If we can learn where... I understand, and I'm still asking you to stop. You're right. Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. 
That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar- Craven! My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden, 
I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, you needn't worry about. Modron Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be more. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shake. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree, sister. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Something down there, can't see a thing. Something down there, can't see a thing. 
Light prints. Craven trod carefully. doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come cl- Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> Well, what is it? I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because? No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Zeracanian cuisine... Dandelion's fame and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse can find him to this garden? No quest. Just... Carol. Fine. I'm sure you... All right. Be careful.
across that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a Know what I did? Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You, I. Your story have a point. We're just doing some. Ch <sighs> you, huh? <laughs> Willing to talk now? Only now can I. Slash is. You've got time. Undo. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently, can. <gasps> Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. <laughs> so, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Everlasting hunger. Cl goes to exp. <laughs> See what I can do. See. I'm See 
if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer. Won't tell me. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Farewell. Key? Ramond? Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key? Where's the key? Why so silent? I will find the key. Try the meat again. <sighs> Fucking Farewell. See you. See.
stones fell through the crevice years ago. Where's the fire? Ease up. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Yara ye, Demwit! Drop one more. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunters. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True? Mm-hmm. Apparently. Morkvarg had them bound 
and slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he... But Archpriest... Ed What happened to Mork Varg? Hard to believe. They tried. Not good. Such. Didn't help them. How could I? Alone again. Just wonder. I ain't proud of it. Since that day. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvog's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened. Why would you blood? It's what I do. Used to say the same myself. I've raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too... When? Wolfang Pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god I ever. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse... Victim need... I'll take the fang. You can either hand it over, or... Word of advice. Never threaten a Skellige warrior, especially one's got command of a longship. to know when it's raining. Kneel before the goddess. Pay her homage. What work is a beast? A roaring gale. How can I be?
put this on. Don't be a smart ass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the... Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. Farewell then. The sea beckons. friend. Patient, doesn't mouth off. Raven's blood. These prints should lead me to Craven. Or his body. lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Roots. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you.
putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to- Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. No, I have I We're looking for Siri, ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She fell oh, almost down! Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. 
And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how did I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. <clears throat> What's this? Did you undress me? Uh, I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm hmm And if my breasts needed smearing with fox tallow? Nay! Nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honour. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You'd best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on! That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Not like that. Keep your elbow up, your arrow goes straight. I know, but my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ah, my nose! See, Snorri, start to run to China. Lena will go that way. In you go and get out of those rags. But all of them? I should think so.
Storms are coming. You've got to go to your mom. Tell her to take... Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. You can ride Greyback. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. For me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. After this. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go.
What became of that creature? Where is he? What? To whom? Be gone. Tell them. Be gone, I say. <laughs> Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to our... Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skell told us. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing was clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novograd either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? 
Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Ciri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Grant us luck. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg. Got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone. For good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Why does the goddess... Brought my son... You do not... No. This does you... What do you need? Mind if I...
Farewell. Welcome to the Temple of Frey. You truly? Sisters. Quite the adventure. I've a brother in Ord Skellig. You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly? Hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. Sisters Astrid and Dala found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ord Skellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. So long. Yeehaw! 